morning, saints. I just wanted to make a video and just encourage you to just keep your eyes on the Lord. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Do you know he is our wonderful counselor? Do you know that he... He is the God of God and the Lord of Lords, and He is the ruler of the entire universe. And for me, it's exciting not only to be in these times and to witness Bible prophecy unfolding, but also to... I made a video um, two hours ago, and I was just so so upset with this Paris incident that happened a few weeks ago. I was just so spiritually ticked at the San Bernardino, you know, the, the shootings and what happened there. And, you know, I really don't watch the news for those reasons because I already know that they are trying to, by using their, you know, I don't want to use the word propaganda because propaganda to me is stuff that is to promote fear for no reason. But when I watch the news and I see innocent people are being killed, to me, that's a reason, because these sad incidents, because I don't know what else to call them, it's, it's becoming part of everyday life now, and it's just not normal. It's not normal, but yet that's our reality. It's, I, you know, I know, it's just... You know, I think it was Sting that sang this song. You have to be, you have to be in, wait. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't remember what the words were. But you, you gotta, sometimes you gotta, you gotta little, you gotta be a little bit crazy. You're never gonna survive unless you're a little bit crazy and and I can relate and and that is so absolutely true even though it's a crazy statement to think you know it's it's true because look at the world if you're if if you think that the world that we live in is you know is a safe and sane place it's really the opposite it's not and the Bible even says that bad's going to be looked at as good and the good's going to be looked at as bad. And I read an article about a polit you know, politicians that were saying that for Christians that were praying for the San Bernardino tragedy, faith based people were absolutely nuts because prayer does nothing and I made a video and I had the article and I probably should have done a copy wait a control C like a control copy so I could have put that in my thing but you'll see it's from December 4th and I know it's old news but to me there's certain news that people need to know about. And a lot of people don't know that this jihadish stuff and this Muslim stuff and this, sh you know, they're shoving it down our throats. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I have never heard of the Quran and I never heard of Muhammad. And they had that you know, um, on the television yesterday, and I know I said I never watch TV, and that's the truth. That's the reason why. You know, I can't even watch a program without it, you know, trying to teach me about some Middle Eastern culture that I wasn't brought up with. 
I grew up in the faith. I grew up Jesus Christ died for my sins, not Muhammad. And I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just being honest because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And so why am I going to sit here and make a video? You know, I'm not disrespecting anybody or their faith, but, you know, don't, don't kill me if I don't want to join. You know, to me, it just reminds me of a, it's like a religious cult or a religious club or a, if you don't join, we're going to kill you. I mean, Jesus Christ didn't teach that. Jesus Christ taught love your enemies as yourself. If your neighbor's hungry, feed them. If you see somebody that's thirsty, give them some water. You know, there's all kinds of stories and parables and examples of how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to love one another, not kill one another. And I know right now, just like what I was talking about in the very beginning of the video, that's where we're at right now. It just, to me, it just goes against what I am. When, when you're a child of God, it just, it, it's like, how come I, how come this is what's going on? It's, you want to look at yourself and, and kind of like go in the mirror, go into your prayer co closet and say, Father God, you know, like, am I in the right dimension? Because sometimes I just don't feel like I'm supposed to be. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be where he wants me to be. But sometimes I just feel like I'm out of my element because the hate, the choices people make, those parents. You know, the San Bernardino tragedy. I Sometimes I just can't even wrap my, my brain around it. It just seems like, is that real or was that just made up? You know? I don't know. I just don't want to think about what's going on in the world today. I want to thank God that I'm a new creation. I want to thank God that He's in control. I want to thank God that He is my Savior and my Redeemer and He is God Almighty and I don't have to be afraid and that I can make a video giving Him all the glory for creation because He is the Alpha and the Omega and He is so worthy to be praised and that's why I wanted to make a YouTube channel a year ago because I saw all of the trashy videos and everything pulling your attention away from God and I thought you know how can I make videos that aren't religious because Jesus clearly is not religion Jesus is relationship you know, and it's like, if, if you're not killing people, I don't see why it's dangerous to love the Lord. I don't see why they would want to hurt Christians. I don't see why, you know, I mean, it's, to me, it just seems evil because even God says people will, in the last days, kill other people in his name thinking they're doing God a justice and in the Bible says God detests murder it, he detests murdering he you know it's not in the Bible to murder we not since Jesus Jesus came to restore us back to God it's a relationship now you know, it's not a cult. And I just hope people get this. You know, I seriously do. And I didn't want to make a long video or ramble on. And since I have a few more minutes, there's something I wanted to share before I say goodbye. And that is, that in John chapter 15 verse 7 it says that if you abide in me and my works 
my words, I'm sorry, my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. That's John chapter 15, verse 7. And you know, ever since this bad news stuff, Paris, you know, you know, it's honestly, my spirit, ever since 9-11, that's that's when the word terrorism and terrorist and and jihad and bin Laden. It's that's when like the Bush administration. I don't want to use the word brainwashed me because I'm clearly not brainwashed, but that's when they use this word terrorism and and terror alerts and terror attacks. And it always seemed like, like we were the terrorists without coming out and saying that America is the real terrorist. That's not what I'm saying. Please don't take my words the wrong way. But what I'm saying is when you try to step in another country's boundaries and give them democracy, you know, the Middle East is a different culture than the Western world. And I know that that culture in the Middle East is going to go around the globe like what it's doing. That's why all the refugees spread all in Europe. And that's why now here in the USA we're seeing these, these attacks. It's not... It's not terror. They are terrorism attacks, but I want to be accurate and say it's a spiritual attack. It's spiritual. Because God is not about murder. God's love. And if you don't know we're living in the last days, and this world's a fallen world, and it belongs to Satan. That's why there's going to be an uptick in satanic activity and these, what are they called again? When people blow themselves up? Oh, I can't even think of the words because I don't know what they're called. But clearly, it's just not, it, to me it's insanity. That, that's all I want to say. It's insanity and it's happening and it's here, and if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I really hope you seek the Lord while he can be found, because we're not even promised tomorrow. We're not even promised a tomorrow. And it breaks my heart seeing all this tragedy right now in these last days, and I, in the beginning of this video, I think what I meant, what I wanted to say was, I wish I could wake up and this is like, you know, not even real. You know what I mean? Does that even make sense? I want to be in the brand newness with the Lord and with my family and my brothers and my sisters. You know that song, Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. That's what I want. I want to start marching in because the Lord wants us to. But since we're not there yet, we have to encourage one another. So, if God willing, if I'm here tomorrow, I'll make another video. Have a blessed day. Keep your eyes on the Lord and don't watch the news. And seriously, thank you to my subs that remind me of that. Because that's going to bring your mind down. And aren't we better than that? And plus, that's probably not even real. And they don't even tell the truth anyways. But Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And it's a spiritual battle that we're in. It really, really is. It's a spiritual battle. And it's, you know, it's not a it's not a safe world anymore. I'm not going to lie. But you don't have any fear because you know God's in God's in control. God is in control. 
and I'm glad. And in these days, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, that's why Jesus left us with the Holy Spirit, because right now we're supposed to we're supposed to come out of the world, spiritually speaking. We're supposed to alert our brothers and our sisters of what time, what times we're in. You know, and tell people Jesus, Jesus loves them because he died for them. And to stay strong and to stay vigilant and to just, you know, stand. Even the, even the word says, stand. Because there's things that are bringing a lot of people to their knees. Spiritually speaking, physically, it's, you know, seriously, keep your eyes on the Lord. Keep your eyes on the Lord and seek Him. I love you guys and Jesus loves you more. And I'll, and I'll, ma I'll, I'll make another video maybe tomorrow. So we'll see. Bye.